today we are going to this integrate this object into coins and you can make various results using the same workflow and it's really easy to make so to start we will use the statue and this bitcoin if you want these two the blend file link is in the description so you can do it with me first step is making the statue disappear with the help of this plane so i will name this plane controller by pressing f2 now selecting the statue let's head to the shader editor and make sure you are in material preview now this is the basic material on our statue so we will use transparent bstf and combine with our original gold material using make shader like this so we can use this factor to make it disappear to control it precisely we will use texture coordinate and selecting our plane with the eyedropper which will fetch its coordinate but these are vector coordinate which will not work giving us this result but if we use separate xyz and use the z value only we get the perfect result then plug it into the factor to make black part disappear also to make it sharper we can use color ramp and tighten it a little let's animate our plane as well but first let's move our statue up a little bit at first frame i will keep it at the bottom then press I to insert a keyframe, then go to the hand frame, move it up to the top and keyframe again till it totally disappears. Also let's set the end to 150, hit play and then we get this kind of animation. Congrats, now you can subscribe to my channel. To get a better preview, you can go to the object and in the viewport display, you can change the display as to wire. Second step where we want to spawn coins as it disappears. First, duplicate the statue and naming it to Amazon. Then we will get rid of our original material on it. Then head to the particle tab and add a new emitter and hit play. But it's emitting from everywhere. To fix that, go to the modifier section and add a geo node. And move it up by dragging like this. Using this, we will create a new geo node and switch the shader to the geo node. Here, we will use delete geometry to keep the mesh around the plane only. And to do that, we can bring our plane inside, make sure to set it to relative, then connect it to a geo proximity node. Let's visualize it by pressing Ctrl Shift left mouse button on this node and on our geometry proximity distance. So this will delete white part. So connect the distance back to the selection and nothing happens. So again, we use a color ramp and drag the black slider to tighten the result and we get back the mesh. But if you play again, we see our statue being. Okay, let's head to the particle tab again. Inside the emission under the source, check use modifier stack and then it will work like a charm. Also, after reaching to the top, it will be again. That is because we have to cut off particles around the 90th frame. So change the emission and it to 90. Also, if you see any weird result at the start as well, you can change the start emission at 10. Third step, replace this soulless halo with coins. For that, head to particles, render and change render as to object. Then select your coin with this eyedropper. But they are too small just like your <clears throat> so increase the scale to 0.6 let's randomize how they are falling so check this rotation and no not the randomize but use this dynamic option and we have a really nice result they are not lasting long just like so change the lifetime to 100 and also to get more even result let's switch this source to volume fourth step adding ground collision so first let's add another plane scaling it up a little bit to add collision to it it's really simple selecting the crown i rename it to the ground first then go to the physics tab selecting it apply the collision and coins are not supposed to bounce like that so change the damping and the friction in the collision to 0.7 giving us a really better result but hey they are standing and dancing weirdly so to fix that, head to particles tab, physics, integration and increase the sub step to 5 so it will perform a better result. 
Fifth step, material and the compositing magic. Before we start, let's switch to cycles and switch to render view. Our white mesh is not looking so charming. We will head back to the, our original statue material. Then using the same gradient data we created, we will plug that same into the emission color right here. And then change the strength to 50. Instead of something white, let's have a gold color. Well, this is not looking like emission, so open the compositor tab as well, click use nodes. Then drop a clear node in between and flashbang. What? Okay. Uh, we have to enable compositor from here and set it to always and flashbang. First of all, let's flip the result with this color ramp, change this glow to simple star. Now it looks really good. Final magic trick. Let's copy these three nodes, go to the shader of our original coin, paste them here and same way connect to the emission color and set the same emission strength to 50 and flashbang. Okay, switch around the result then use a mapping to move it down a little on the Z axis and we have a coins glow summoning. Want to make them slow-mo? So again head to the particles tab, physics, integration and we have been here. So. If we reduce the timestamp here, it will slow down the result. But then you will have to increase the lifetime so that they can last longer. And then if you play around with like keyframe it properly, play with other things, it can give you a really nice render. Before we end, if you want my plan file with all the animation, it is available on my Gumblr page for free. Link is in the description. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe for more amazing future tutorials. And if you have doubts, please do drop them in the comment section. I will try to help you out as soon as possible. And I will see you in the next video.